Hey viewers, I'm continuing work on my homebrew cyclocross bike. In a previous video, I installed a, a new crank set. Uh, I wanted smaller chain rings to give me uh, lower gearing. So this is actually a mountain bike type crank set here. Um, now one of the issues with this, with the smaller chain rings, is it's not playing real friendly with my Ultegra derailleur here, because this is actually designed for a road bike with probably about a 53 uh, tooth chain ring here, it was a large one, and this uh, chain ring here is only like 39 teeth. So, um, optimally, you, you want this cage to be down here and come within a couple millimeters of the uh, chain ring, the, uh, the uh, big chain ring. But I can't come down any, down any lower because this cage is going to come down and hit the chain stay here. So this is as low as I get it. Um, also, this since this is a mountain bike type crank set, I had to add a couple spacers in there. So it's slightly a couple millimeters out farther. And this uh, derailleur just doesn't want to push the chain out quite far, far enough. It's almost there. I kind of had to angle the cage out a little bit and kind of... So I have it kind of working, but just not as well as I'd like. So I bought a new uh, derailleur. This is a Shimano FD CX70. It's a cyclocross type uh, front derailleur. And so I'm going to install this. This has actually got a cage designed for a smaller chain ring. So this should allow me to get the uh, cage down closer to the teeth here. And I'm hoping that it will also maybe solve the problem of whether it's going to be pushing out far enough. So this is going to be kind of an experiment. I think this might work. If not, I might be able to do something to get it to work. Anyway, that's my project today. Now to remove this uh, derailleur here, I need the, the chain out of the cage here. So I'm just going to uh, have the master link here. So I'm going to just break this right here and pull this apart like this. And I don't want to lose the little master link parts here. This is a KMC missing link. Makes it real nice, easy to break the chain there. And so I pull the chain off like that. And so now I don't have to worry about it uh, coming out there. And then I'm going to remove the cable from the old derailleur here. So let me see, loosen this little clamp bolt here. Pull that out there. And then remove this here from the uh, little braze on clamp that I have. And so there's the Ultegra derailleur. It's off. Now I'm going to install the new derailleur here to the clamp, and I may, I'm probably going to need to move this clamp here, but uh, we'll see how this goes here. So I'll tentatively install this here. Okay, I think it can come down a little bit lower here. It's still got a bit of space down clearing here, and it's still a bit away from the teeth here, so I'm going to try moving the clamp down here. So I'm going to have to release this and pull this down. And I'm going to move the derailleur up on there, and then loosen the clamp over here. Okay, so I have the clamp in a lower position, and I think that's going to work. I still have clearance here, and it's closer to the teeth there, so just get it kind of straight and then tighten the clamp down there. But I think this is going to work right here. So I'm kind of limited on uh, options as far as this, this uh, braze on clamp because of this uh, bottle cage uh, mount right here. So right now I have it right below that, that uh, bolt and I have the derailleur moved all the way up there and right now it's coming out and hitting the uh, teeth on the uh, large chain ring there. So I don't think this is going to work. So I'm going to have to move this up above this bolt and then just move the uh, derailleur all the way down and do the best I can with that. Okay, so I, I remounted this clamp back above this uh, bottle cage mount here and then I, I dropped the derailleur down as far as I could within this uh, braze on here. And so it's still a bit above the uh, chain ring here, but it's a lot closer than the Ultegra was. And I still have a lot of space down here. So too bad I have that ball cage mount there, because um, otherwise I get this position just almost perfectly right there. And I, 
I have this mounted so that this uh, cage here is roughly parallel to the uh, chain ring there. And just kind of manually manipulating here, I think it will push the chain out farther than the uh, Ultegra derailleur was. But we'll see. Okay, I've run the chain back through the uh, gears here, the derailleurs, and I'm going to uh, reconnect it here. I don't have to worry about resizing it because just changing the front derailleur uh, shouldn't affect the uh, chain length at all. So I don't have to worry about uh, playing with that. So I'll just kind of reconnect this here. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on adjusting this front derailleur here. Um, I shifted the uh, rear derailleur up into the biggest cog. And so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to adjust the uh, little limiting screws so that bring this cage over just so it will just touch the chain. Like that. Then I'm going to attach the cable. I'm just going to use this, reuse the same cable for right now. I may switch the cable later, but at least to try this out and make sure everything is going to work. So I'm going to pull the cable in there as tight as I can and tighten this clamp bolt down on the cable. Like that. And then I'm going to loosen this limiting screw here just so that the... Uh, cage moves about a millimeter away from the chain. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to shift it down on the back into like a middle cog. Like that. And then I'm going to try shifting this up. And that works. Shift it down, shift it up, shift it down, shift it up. And that's working pretty nicely. So let me go ahead and shift it down to the smallest cog on the back. And make sure that it still shifts nicely. So down, up, down, up. And so that's working really nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this other limiting screw here. I want to adjust it, tighten it down uh, to where I don't want this uh, um, cage to come too far out away from the chain there. Um, it's about a, like about a millimeter, two millimeters away from the chain, about a millimeter. So I'll kind of tighten that down there. Just double check this. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Maybe I'll let that limiting screw out just a hair. Let's see. Down, up, down, up, down. And maybe let it out just a hair. Down, up, down. Okay, that seems to be working pretty well. So I've got my new crank set, I got my new derailleur. Everything's working really well here. Like this. And life is good. Anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button and you'll see new videos. I'm coming out with them. I always come out with new videos, new stuff. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.